hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video my fiance and I tackled a DIY project so I actually got the inspiration to do this from Pinterest I am obsessed with Pinterest and with all the time we had on our hands during quarantine why not build our own love seat I am obsessed with how this came out so if you guys want to see how we built it then please keep watching so the first step is to cut all of the pieces to size, which Andrew is doing right here. I'm gonna provide all of the measurements down below in the description box. So we have everything laid out right here just to visualize. This is one armrest, this is the other armrest, and then this long piece right here is the middle of the couch, so that's just gonna hold up all the cushions and the weight. And then the piece that Andrew's holding is for the back of the couch, so that's one of two pieces. So the next step is actually my favorite step. This is where I actually contribute, so Andrew and I will be sanding all of the pieces. So here we just finished sanding and now we're going to work on creating the pocket holes so that we can screw the pieces. So now that we are done putting in all the pocket holes, we are going to start screwing in some of the pieces. So today is day two and we switch locations here. We weren't able to screw everything in last night because we wanted to move the pieces into our apartment. So now we're just gonna finish assembling everything. So the part that Andrew is drilling right here, we originally installed it because we thought that we would need an angle in order to fit the cushions comfortably, but then once we did place the cushions, we realized that that wasn't necessary, but instead this actually helps to keep the cushions in place and prevents them from sliding. So now that we drilled all of the pieces together, Andrew's just gonna go ahead and fill in the screws and any holes. So for the wood filler, you have to let it sit for two to six hours. And we let it sit for about three hours. As long as it's dry, it's good to go. So now on to sanding. Now on to staining, so we're almost done. Andrew picked up the color Sedona Red and honestly, that would not have been my first, second, or third choice. Just from looking at it in the can, it looked super red, but I was pleasantly surprised with how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.